Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kenneth Perry of KP Global, and today we're going to talk about Cortana. Today is a good day for Cortana. Yes, it is. Uh, we're going to talk about basic navigation of Cortana and how you can use the search window in order to define whatever you want in the operating system. If you like the content, feel free to hit the like button. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yes, K Perry Global. All right, without further ado, let's hop into the content. Talk to you soon. Cortana is located in the left-hand corner of the taskbar in this search window. Here you can see the Cortana logo. Also, if you click on the start menu, Cortana logo is placed by default on the start menu. Let's click on the search window. And as you can see, this is Cortana's home screen. You have the home button there indicating uh, that this is Cortana's home screen. You also have the microphone located in the right hand corner here, which gives you the ability to use Cortana with voice. Now Cortana searches apps, documents, emails, web, and more. It gives you the top applications that you use on a regular basis and then gives you recent activities as well. You can ask Cortana for help with like check my email, uh, say something funny, or what's the meaning of Spartan, just to give an example. Now let's go over notebook. Notebook is where you can organize or manage Cortana skills. With an organizer, you have list where you can create things to do list. You have reminders. And so if you want to be right reminded about something, Cortana gives you the ability to do so. And this is where you would go in, in order to make that happen. And then also suggested task. And Cortana will give suggestions of tasks that needs to be completed. If I click on the manage skills button, you have skills that you have enabled, like play the name game song. Uh, you have access to connections where you can customize your connections and manage accounts, music, and connected home devices. You also have productivity. And productivity consists of your calendar, commutes back and forth to work, uh, your updates or reminders and lists. And then stay up to date. And stay up to date gives you the ability to customize you know, finances or gain access to your flight information or it gives you access to news and sports updates. When I click on devices, this is where you can go to connect your Cortana devices like the Invoke uh, or Surface headphones or Amazon Alexa devices as well. Let's move down to accounts. When I click on the account button, it takes you to permission and history, and then you can choose the account that Cortana is connected to. You have permissions where you can give Cortana permissions to gain access to uh, your activities or uh, permit Cortana to uh, see your things to do so she can, ac she can access that information and provide the up to date information for you. Safe search where you can provide strict, moderate, or turn off filters for Cortana searches. If we click on Cortana and proceed to settings, which is the next button here, then it starts off with talk to Cortana. This is where you can go to check the microphone to ensure that Cortana uh, hears your voice properly. And then next you have Hey Cortana, and Hey Cortana gives you the ability, oh, they have activated it right there, let's click out of that. Hey Cortana gives you the ability to voice activate Cortana without having to click on the microphone down here. You have keyboard shortcuts, and then you can dun, 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 turn on and off Cortana so you can have access to Cortana on your lock screen. All right, so since we've went over some basic navigation, let's go over how you can use Cortana. Anytime you want to use Cortana or want to find anything on the computer, all you have to do is type. So I click on the button here. It says type here to search. I can type 
Microsoft Word. So I'll type Word, W-O. Select Enter, and then it opens up Microsoft Word. If there is a certain app or setting that you want to open, we'll just go for Settings. Let's type in Bluetooth. As soon as I type B-L-U-E, Bluetooth appears. I can then select Bluetooth. It will open up settings in the Bluetooth feature that gives me the ability to add a Bluetooth device. If there is a, not an application, but a folder that you would like to gain access to, uh, let's give an example of goals. I can type G-O-A. L and it gives me the best matches. So right now it's giving me a document when the store monthly goes, and then it gives me more documents here. It search also searches the web. What happens if I type goals? If I type goals, then it gives me a folder. So I had to add an S there in order to gain access to the folder. Let's search for a website. So I'm going to back up out of here. I'm going to type in microsaw.com. Enter. It opens Microsoft's website. So this is going to save you time. Instead of having to open the browser to type in what you want, you can just simply search in the Cortana search window. Now, from a voice activation standpoint, if I wanted to activate or search for a particular website or application, I could select the microphone. Hey, Cortana, open Word. Okay, which Word do you want to open? Word or WordPad? Word. Okay, that's the voice command using the microphone. Cortana can open or find information. Hey, Cortana, what do I have to do today? All right. You don't have anything scheduled for today. Uh, that means that I'm not busy, but you get my point here. Hey, Cortana, go to Microsoft.com. And that's how you use Cortana in order to search for the things that you want. Cortana is definitely your personal assistant. She's going to allow you to be more productive and save you time because that's what a personal assistant does. In Cortana part two, we will show you how to be more productive with using Cortana and how to gain access to Cortana across devices. Thank you. Thank you for watching Cortana part one. We're going to hop into Cortana part two next. So don't forget to watch that video. Uh, if you like the content, hit the like button. Feel free to comment. I'd love to interact with you. If it's content that you would like to see, you know, let, let me know. Another thing is don't forget to subscribe to K Perry Global YouTube channel. I right, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon.